Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the next recipe in the Downton Abbey official cookbook. And it's actually lobster cutlets. And this should be fairly easy. I do have to turn this lobster behind me into some meat paste. It's pretty much, to me, when I read the recipe, it kind of seems like it's lobster cakes. Kind of like crab cakes, lobster cakes. So, let's go ahead and get started. I did get this lobster already cooked, frozen in the store. I didn't cook them myself. I do need to crack them open and get the meat out. I'm going to go ahead and move on to where I have a bowl full of meat so you don't have to watch this. Okay, so I've got it all dismantled and chopped up here, all the lobster meat. It didn't give me as much as I expected, but I've never really taken meat out of lobster before, so I didn't know what to expect. Okay, now we need to make the mixture for the meat. And it starts with two-thirds cup of milk. And two tablespoons of heavy cream. And it's just going to get a little heated up. Okay, it's nice and hot. I need to put it in this um, pourable pitcher back here for now. Okay, now I need to make a roux. We're going to start with two tablespoons of butter and melt it. Okay, now we're going to whisk in a quarter cup of flour. And we're going to stir it until it's no longer raw flour. Cook it real good. Should not take long. Okay, we're going to reduce the heat a little bit. Cook it for a couple minutes. We're going to continue to whisk it while it's cooking. Nice little paste. Okay. We're going to add in the milk mixture. To stir and get all these lumps out of it. Oh yeah! That is a successful roux. Gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna add in some seasonings. We have the zest of one lemon. We have the juice from a lemon. Squeeze it up so you don't get your seeds in there. A little bit of black pepper. Some salt. And an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Sometimes I feel like everything in Downton Abbey has cayenne pepper. Alright. That's a beautiful looking sauce. We're going to put about half of it into the meat. And stir it up. Sorry. I do realize that sometimes I get in my own way for you guys and I apologize. Alright, that looks good. Okay, now you spoon it in little by little until you have enough to make a paste of the lobster. And I think I just did too much, but we'll see. Okay, that's a nice paste. Oh, 
Looks good. Okay, here's our lobster mixture. We actually need to cover this and put it in the fridge. The recipe says an hour till overnight. I'm gonna do about an hour. So we will be back. Okay, we are all chilled up. This is the lobster mixture. We're going to turn them into a few of this, a few small balls. Brush them with this one beaten egg, roll them in the breadcrumbs, and cook them in this butter. The butter's not too hot because we don't want the breadcrumbs to cook before the lobster mixture. So let's try this out. Made them easily moldable. I need to flatten it out. in the breadcrumbs and cook. We're going to do this seven more times. Okay, I ended up with nine. They need to cook for about five to six minutes. I'm going to turn them part way through and then we'll plate them and continue on. Okay, as you can see, these are pretty delicate. This one and this one fell apart as I was moving it over. Even when I was flipping them, they were pretty difficult to manage, but I got them out of the pan. Let's plate them and make them look pretty. The book suggested saving the legs of the lobsters to put in the sides. Apparently that's like a popular way to make them look fancier. I didn't save the legs of my lobsters, so they're just the way they are. Okay. Book suggested put some lemon wedges in the middle and sprinkle some parsley around. And there we have it, our lobster cutlets. I am ready to try one and see how it turned out. Okay, I picked the smallest one to try. I'm actually pretty excited. I like seafood, so this is probably delicious to me. Hmm. It's delicious. It's perfect. You can taste the cayenne pepper in it. It's not too spicy, but it definitely is there. But this is delicious. One thing I would do differently when I'm making this, I wouldn't dismantle a lobster because that was a bit much for me. And I know back in the days of Downton Abbey, you'd have to go and dismantle your own lobster if you want to do lobster cutlets. But I live in an age where I could possibly get the meat prepackaged and for time's sake and for many other reasons I would probably get a pack. This would probably be really good 
with also crab meat or fish. It's a great recipe. The cayenne, like I said, is a little overpowering. But the flavor otherwise is really good. So next time I would do way less cayenne pepper, get the meat already prepackaged, and but it otherwise was really easy and I'm really happy with it and I will definitely try it again. I hope you had a great time. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe because I have more recipes from Downton Abbey and the Gilmore Girls coming and of course many other fun videos for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and have a good day. Bye!